we're going to have a look at some properties of multiplication and division. If we want to do these, let's just think again about what multiplication is. If, for example, we wanted to do 3 multiplied by 6, what we'd be thinking of is that we've got three bags, each with six sweets in each bag, and so 3 multiplied by 6 will be three bags of six sweets, so in total we'll have 18 sweets. So 0 multiplied by 6 will mean we've got 0, no bags. Well, how many, how many sweets will we have if we've got no bags? Well, we've got no bags, so we've got no sweets. So 0 multiplied by 6 will be 0. 1 multiplied by 6? Well, it's just one bag with 6 sweets, so in total we've got 6 sweets. Multiplying by 10 is always easy. 10 multiplied by 6 is just 60. And we can use this then to help us do other multiplication easily. So 700 times 60, we can start by saying we know 7 sixes are 42. But we didn't want to just multiply by 6, we wanted to multiply by 60, so it'll be 420. And we didn't want to just multiply by 7, but by 700, so I have to multiply by 100, and we'll get our answer of 42,000. Now we want to see how we can also think about division as sharing, and this will help us to do some, some, to, to do some calculations. So if we've got 12 cakes and we want to share them equally between three people, we can do that. And we can see that 12 divided by 3 is 4, which we can also write in its fraction form. 12 over 3 is equal to 4. Now, how does that help us? Well, thinking about division as sharing helps us in the following way. If we're asked the question, is 4 divided by 3 or 4 divided by 5 bigger? It's easy to answer because 4 divided by 3 is just 4 cakes shared between 3 and 4 divided by 5. Well, this there you've got 5 people to share those cakes. Which is going to have more? Well, obviously, if you've only got 3 people sharing the cakes, you're going to get a bigger slice of cake each. So 4 divided by 3 is bigger. So we can summarise this by saying, if we've got 4 and we divide it by a big number, we'll get a small answer, which we can also write in the fraction form. Making sense of it? 4 cakes shared between a big group of people will mean that everybody only gets a really small slice. And if the crowd of people gets bigger, the slice of cake everybody will get will be smaller. So then we can answer a question like this easily. 6 divided by 68, 6 divided by 34, which is bigger? It'll be 6 divided by 34, because there you've only got 34 people sharing the cake, rather than 68 people sharing the 6 cakes. 0 divided by 6? Well, that means we've got no cakes and 6 people want to share them. Well, if you've got no cakes and 6 people are sharing them, how much are they going to each get? Well, they're each going to get nothing because there are no cakes for them to have. 6 divided by 1. Well, we've got 6 cakes and we've got one person who needs to share it. Well, that one person only has themselves to share it with, so they're obviously going to get all 6 cakes. And that'll be true for any number, right? Any number divided by 1 will just give you itself as the answer. 6 divided by 6. Well, that's obvious. It's one because you've got six cakes, six people to share them equally. Everybody's just going to get one. Six divided by zero is a funny one because what you've got there is you've got six cakes, but you've got no people. And so you're asking yourself, how much cake will each of the no people get? It really doesn't make sense. And so the answer there is undefined. Now, let me give you a slightly more proper reason why it's undefined. We know division and multiplication are related. So asking yourself 6 divided by 3 is what is the same as asking what times 3 is 6. So, you know, 6 divided by 3 is 2 because 2 times 3 is 6. Nice and simple, right? So if we're now returning to our question of dividing by 0, asking 6 divided by 0 is what is the same as saying what times 0 will give you 6. And here's where we're going to see there's a massive problem. So let's imagine we try 6 divided by 0 is 0, say. Well, that would mean that 0 times 0 would be 6, but that's not true. 
all right, maybe 6 divided by 0 is 6. But then 6 times 0 would have to be 6. And that's not true either. And so no matter what we try to put in place of that question mark, it's just not going to work out. Because anything multiplied by 0 is not going to be able to get you 6 as the answer, because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So there's nothing we can put in the place of that question mark to make it work. And so 6 divided by 0 is undefined.